Hello students. So today I am with the new experiment. That is of BPSK binary phase shift king and its demodulation. Okay. So basically the BPSK is a digital modulation scheme that conveys data by changing or modulating two different phases. Okay. Of a reference signal, the reference signal is basically the carrier wave. Okay. During logic zero, okay, a number of cycles of the carrier wave is transmitted. Okay. Uh, with a single phase and when this logic changes from 0 to 1 the same number of cycle is transmitted but it is with 180 degree phase shift okay so basically this is also called two phase psk or phase reversal king okay as in this uh, technique the sine wave carrier take two phase reversal one is for 0 degree and one is with 180 degree okay so basically uh, this is the circuit operation of the modulator and the demodulator the procedure I have written here, these are the circuit here. Okay, so I am just going to uh, let you understand that how actually this circuit works. Okay, the theory part I have written here. Okay, that how actually it works. Okay, but I will uh, explain you by the help of this diagram. So, this one is the modulator circuit, and this one is the demodulator circuit. So, basically, first we will take the modulator circuit. Just check here, we are using our two transistor here. The first one is uh, NKIN and the other one is PNP. Okay, here we can see the emitter of both the transistor is grounded and the carrier is being provided to both the transistor at the collector end. Okay, and the message signal is provided, this data input is provided to both the transistor at their base part. Okay, now taking a first logic, okay, when the logic is one when this message signal input logic is 1 okay then at that time what happens this NPN transistor this is on okay and when this is on it works as a switch both the transistor actually works as switch only here in this uh, circuit okay so when the logic is 1 this NPN transistor is on and it work as closed switch and that time the PNP transistor is off okay so this works as open switch so uh, since this is working at uh, close switch there so the carrier comes from here and it goes to ground here okay and since this one this pnp transistor is uh, currently open so the carrier signal which comes here okay directly goes to the pin number three of this 741 ic okay so this 741 ic is basically here used as inverting and non-inverting amplifier both the type okay inverting and non-inverting as uh, uh, we are getting a phase reversal of waves okay so phase reversal of waves happen when we are getting both of the output at one one with a zero degree phase reversal and one with 180 degree phase reversal okay so at this time when uh, the logic is one this pnp transistor is off so this carrier directly goes with the message signal to this uh, pin number three okay so when this it goes to pin number three this one acts as non-inverting input for this amplifier okay and we get a non-inverting output here okay now when this carrier signal reaches with the output to the output here is no phase shift okay but when this logic transfers from 1 to 0 or when this uh, input logic becomes 0 at that time what happens the vice versa will happens at that time this uh, PNP transistor will be on and this NPN transistor would go off okay so when this will go on the carrier with will go to uh, ground and uh, since this will uh, be open at that time so the carrier with the message signal goes to the pin number two so since this one is going to pin number two here so at that time what will happen this will act as an inverting amplifier and it will amplify the signal and it will invert the output okay so we will look at the output that how actually it looks like okay so this one is uh, the output bpsk basically this it looks like it okay when the um, bit carrier is one here the here is the carrier part okay you can look at here here the B bpsk signal with bit logic one it is going with the phase here and when this uh, input bit logic is zero as soon as it becomes zero here since uh, the amplifier here it gets the input at pin number two so it just inverts the output so here this signal this part of the signal is out of phase or 180 degree phase shift occurs here okay again when bit one is high again uh, it comes back with zero phase shift 
again when with uh, input bit is zero it again goes to 180 degree phase shift okay so this only happens every time and we get a bpsk signal here okay so this one is was the modulator part now we will move on to the demodulator so uh, since we are using the coherent demodulation here so in the first input we will give the bpsk input okay to this 741 ic okay basically the 741 ic here this op amp act as a differential amplifier okay so we are using a differential amplifier a rectifier here with an envelope reductor and here the 741 ic acts, acts as a comparator okay so this differential amplifier with an unmodulated carrier unmodulated carrier means the same carrier which we have provided here okay that carrier i will provide it here also okay so i will provide this thing at non inverting input and this bpsk would be provided at the inverting input so when we will provide these two input now at the output we will get the signal which is phase shifted okay it would be phase shifted from the original part okay that means at the output of uh, this differential amplifier we are getting only the phase shifted signal okay now when we get a phase shifted signal but at the end we need a signal which is not phase shifted okay that should be equivalent or equal to our data input so at this last part also what happens now the phase signal phase shifted signal would be again shifted with 180 degree phase shift and then the signal would be with 0 degree phase shift here okay so basically when this phase shifted signal is provided here then what happens this invariant detector it both of these uh, removes the carrier content which is present in the signal here okay and then uh, this envelope detector and uh, this rectifier when they, they removes the carrier content they gives their output to the inverting part of this comparator and this comparator inverts the signal again so that the output should be with zero shift okay and if uh, there is uh, any type of ripples here both the gener diode will remove that part okay and it this part also removes the uh, signal level okay if it is a very high part then it will be lowered at that part okay so that means that the comparator inverts and limits the level of the signal okay so that correct logic level would be provided at the demodulated output okay so we will just move on to the multi sim and we will check that how actually the output looks like okay so uh, i have zoomed it this one is the bpsk modulator part and this one is the demodulator part of the circuit okay if i will uh, just zoom out just look here this is the whole of the circuit here this one is the modulation and this one is the demodulation okay so i have connected a uh, one channel with the demodulation output so that would be our input signal only and uh, the second channel of this oscilloscope is connected with the modulation output okay so uh, for better detection we can use the four channel oscilloscope also so better would be that i uh, will choose that thing only okay i'm just going to delete this part i will use a four channel oscilloscope so the first channel i would connect it here at the output okay so this one is basically the output of uh, our modulation okay the ground i would just connect it here now uh, this one is the output of modulation so just connect uh, the second channel with our one function generator and the other one with our other function generator so basically this first gen function generator which you can see is it is having 1 kilohertz of 2 volt peak to peak sine wave as a carrier and the second one is having 200 hertz of 10 volt peak to peak this one is our mass signal okay and uh, uh, here the last we will connect here the output signal okay now since we have done this thing so i will just uh, change the color of these things okay so first one is red uh choose the second one to be violet okay the third one change the color uh 
just select it to be green okay and then at the last part we will take a black color okay so our first one would be the modulation the violet one would be our masses signal sorry uh, the it would be our uh, carrier signal the third one the green one would be our masses signal okay as this one x f g2 okay and the last one the black one would be our output so the two colors look like so just change the color to a type of sky blue only okay now it looks good now uh, run the simulation here okay this one is our wave okay so i will just stop the simulation and i will let you know that how actually it looks like so you can see here these are the four waves here okay so uh, the first one the red one the red one is the output here and the input as i have already told it is the green color okay so basically this this green color this larger one this one is our input masses signal here okay this green one is the input masses signal and uh, this blue one okay it is the carrier one so just see here here it is going conductively and when uh, at this point the logic just check here this logic changes at this point this point this point this point okay as the green one is the massa signal okay so when the bit is high this input bit is high okay at that time this output this red one okay just look here it is in the phase and when this bit changes here okay so this uh, waveform should be going like this this one this one this one okay but as at this point the phase changes it again move to up the upward side okay but it should have gone to the downward side if there would ha have not been any phase change but since there is a phase change so the signal again changes their phase and at this point again the bit is zero and at this point the bit becomes high so the signal should have gone to the lower part but since the phase change it again go to the higher part okay and here the black line you can see the black line is uh, only the output okay that is our modulating signal okay so we have given a uh, 200 hertz of input message signal okay so we will check just that whether at the output we are getting 2 kilohertz sorry 200 hertz of wave or not again uh, just little bit change it here okay okay we will just little bit again change it here so that we could get one oscillation okay it's starting from here so we will go up to here okay this part okay so just look here from here to here this is one oscillation of the wave so t2 minus t1 is 5 millisecond so this one is giving minus 5 as this is t2 minus t1 and we are uh, uh, we have kept one here two here if we will keep one here and two here it will give us plus 5 milliseconds so there is no issue in this uh, minus sign so basically we are getting uh, the time difference of 5 millisecond in one oscillation so basically one oscillation is done in 5 milliseconds so when you will uh, invert it so that we could uh, get uh, the frequency here so it would be 1 divided by 5 milliseconds so we you will definitely get 200 hertz of the wave so that means that we have done perfectly the BPSK uh, modulation and the demodulation part so this is how the circuit runs and this is the whole part of this experiment i hope you have uh, known that how the circuit works and how to perform this experiment so thank you for watching this experiment